I'm Mocha only, and I'm on the grind with Valentine. Hey, I'm Jax, and I'm on the grind with Valentine. Yo, what's happening? It's your man Valentine, baby. Coming from on the grind. We're getting ready to sit down with one of Vancouver's finest, Mr. Mocha Only. What's up, homie? Hey, sir. It's good, man. How you Everything's feeling? Good. You good? Everything's beautiful, man. Environment is nice. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Man, it's all I'm good. Trying man. to plan this for a long time. I know. Yeah, but yeah. now we're here and we're sitting right? in live and in color. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Man, as a little kid, man, you always know you was going to be a hip hop artist? No, I mean, Keep in mind my age, right? When I was a little kid, like hip hop had yet to arrive right. to the West Coast, even, you know what I mean? But when I was a little kid, that was, I, it was the 70s, you know what I'm saying? So you um, was a 70s baby. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm you know, I'm getting yeah. up there. Got a couple grays and stuff. <laughs> well earned, good. of course. Well earned. Yeah. Uh, it was, um, it wasn't, I was definitely aware I was going to be a musician, okay. without a doubt. Right. I spent hours on end hammering the piano at my mom's and dad's house, so. Um, that I knew. Okay. As far as hip hop, I, I, that sort of became evident in the mid '80s. Right. You know, once hip hop had arrived, you know what I mean. I, I thought maybe I'd be a pop musician or something yeah. like that, but the hip hop thing was just too captivating to to let go. You know what okay. I mean? And I didn't know anybody else. Like when I started writing raps, I didn't know anybody else that was doing that. So, nice. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was cool to be. Uh, individual like that, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, as you um, now as you grew, as you grow, did it still stick with you that say, hey, I'm gonna be this musician, or then did it start going and man, I gotta go back to school, I gotta go to school and do something else? No, you know what? Um, and, and I'm not condoning this, but I, I didn't I didn't finish school. I, I, I it just wasn't for me. I yeah. had to chase the music thing. So I've always put everything into the music. I've never lost the passion for it. In fact, now that I'm old, older and hopefully a bit wiser, uh, I, I think the passion is stronger now than it right. was before. Okay. And I have a much clearer idea of what I want to do with my music and where I want to go with it, you know what I mean? But it's always going to be music, first and foremost, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's other things I want to definitely get into, okay. but uh, um, music is the sustaining force. Nice. Yeah. Now. How hard is it, though, man, to get to this point right now to be Mocha only? You know what I mean? It's pretty hard if you're not Mocha only. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel what you're saying. Um, uh, it's as hard as you allow it to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. People put up blocks all the time. They, they, they always invent things, reasons why they can't succeed, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm sure I could be a lot bigger than I am right now, you know what I mean? I'm an underground artist, but I'm also aware of the fact that I will only be where I want to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? People let too many things get in the way, and they let, you know, music's a very emotional thing, but mm -hmm. so you kind of got to close out other emotional avenues yeah. in order to focus on what you're going to do. And okay. this is just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's what works for me. Now, when you go to, I mean, when you prepare for a show, I mean, what do you, what do, you do? Hmm. I usually go over the lyrics a lot, so I make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. Because um, I have a big body of work, you know. Um, I've done over 60 projects yeah. in my time as a professional musician. And um, every show, I try to make a different show, mm -hmm. whether it's different material or a different approach to it. So often before the show, I like quiet. Okay. I'm a quiet individual, yeah. period, but I like quiet before the show, and I want to concentrate and and psych myself up and make sure I come out swinging. Okay. Now, when times get tough, though, man, who's the inspiration that you look to? Me. 
That's just it. Okay. And I don't mean that to be cocky, but no. I mean, like, you know, you, you have to, you have to believe in yourself. Yeah. And if you can, if you can separate the ego from the belief in yourself, mm -hmm. then all the power to you. Okay. Because you don't want to come across like a jerk. People exactly. don't want to work with you. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Album's coming out? Yeah, brand new album coming out. It's uh, Airport 6 okay. on Urbnet Records. Now, I'll briefly explain the airport concept. Um, this is the sixth installment of a yearly spring-themed album I've been doing. Right. Um, the p past previous five ones were, were more like a, like a mixtape, so mm -hmm. to speak. It was just quick songs and stuff. This time, I figured this might be the last airport airport album I'm gonna do. So okay. I, I put a little, a lot extra work into it. Yeah. Um, there's gonna be some surprises on there for people. It's, uh, it moves a lot quicker. It's a, a lot more up tempo and um, uh, there's some pop singles on there. Collabos on there? Uh, yeah, there's one collabo. I got uh, True Boy from De La Soul. Okay. So, um, I had a lot of other collabs and stuff lined up, but I had to whittle the album down to uh, something I was most happy with. You know nice. I mean? Now, when you're on the grind, man, being on the grind, all the cats are out there right now. They doing their thing, peddling their CDs, EPs, whatever they got to do. I mean, what can you actually tell them to inspire them to stay on the grind, to get to be in that seat where Mocha only is right now? Yeah, um, to not do what everybody else is doing. People are always chasing what they think the current model is, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And not realizing that how much stuff lays under the rocks and crevices that people have forgotten about, Yeah, you know? Um, Everybody's talking about how the disappearance of physical music and, and it's not as viable no more. I disagree. Mm -hmm. You can sell it. People at your shows, they want CDs. They want right. a physical project, pro product they can go home with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I would say leave no stone unturned. And I say that also to remind myself because I find myself getting into patterns, trying to you know end up relying on other people. Yeah. It's good to work with people, most definitely. Okay. But there's so much extra you can do by yourself. Nice. And to always remember the passion and the fun and, and the love of the art. You know what I mean? Music's a vibration. And vibration is what creates the universe, which is God. So music is God, is love. Mm -hmm. Yada, yada, yada. Nice. That's how now, I see it. The song you're going to perform for us today is called what? Crickets. It's the, sound you, it's the sound you hear when Mocha only drops an album. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just clowning. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it is self-deprecating humor for sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no more of that. We got to watch out what we put out. Like exactly. even, even as jokes and stuff, you know what I mean? Because our words are spells. Exactly. Quickly. I mean, some, some, some of the sacrifice and obstacles you have to go through, man, real quickly before we get you out of here and go get your song on. Sacrifice and obstacles? Too many to name, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand that. You know what I mean? Uh, um, there's the time with your loved ones and, and your family and stuff that when you're on the road, ultimately, like, that has to be sacrificed. But um, I knew what I was getting into from, from the, the very start. Right. And I love to love everybody. And I love everybody through music. And it's, it's my very fabric of my existence to spread love, to give love to strangers. You know nice. what I'm saying? I want to see people smile and enjoy themselves and walk away feeling some sort of upliftment. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And this is something that I've all evolved into over the years. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. no guru or no new age healer. I'm just somebody that's aware of the universe. That's nice. It. We're going to let you get out here and go get your song on, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Nice, man. On the grind. You know what I mean? I do. Get Mocha out of here, go do his thing. Uh. Mocha only, on the grind. Yes, it's time to rise and shine. Listen up, here we come, y'all. Here we come. Here we come, y'all. Here we come. On the grind, y'all. You know we come. To this point, check it on now. Listen, y'all. This crickets, not literal crickets When I drop new stuff, it's an issue when I issue ish It's kind of trying to set the world blazing No guarantee though, it's comical, amazing Never did phase me, I never been a lazy one So despite the crickets, I'ma stay with them to pick a bit Pay me some, 
I stick with relentlessness on some freak beats then twist my sentences. I'm in my city alone, and so it seems. No, it's not the case. I'm just a hermit with some dreams. Permanent, my pace is picking up. I gotta breathe. Thanks to cats like Chief and all who believe in the flip side of this art rap like Mike E. Peace of Serengeti and D, you my need. Mocha hit the city with styles you might need. On some other under the sea leaves like that, y'all. And we putting this down live on the grind and you don't stop everybody in the world yeah it's time to free your mind and you don't stop we on the grind one time and you don't stop you can't quit to the beat of the short shot mocha o's in the house one time check it out some got no clue, might think I'm not the dude. I don't give a unique-ish, cause I'm not for proving nothing to a lesser than. Never taking days off, only do this music. Never had a day job. Worldwide, they hollering, they do need the new. I do my beats too, I do eat peep the two. This mission for the moment, my overseas allies. I'm a North American, but known to be a satellite. Orbin and observing and notating. The move rover exorbitant with a statement. Yeah, I'm just a beat cat and I go skating. On some Neil Blender stuff, yes, there's no hating. Listen, I'm not an animal, but see, I could rise past my current status though. Even though I do my weird ish, I still get kicked out, Jack. Local rappers ain't about that. Uh. And that's how it goes down on this underground edition. Keep it fresh, no superstition. One time, here we come, y'all, and here we come. Mocha O, y'all, here we come. On the grind, y'all, we give them some. Give the drummer some, yes, y'all. Uh. So basically, lay back, let the pressures of life melt away, and seize the day. Carpe diem. Peace. Man, thanks, man. I was dope. You know, I do raps. You know what I mean? Man, how can people get in touch with you, man? They Twitter, get in MySpace, touch with you. Yeah, Facebook. All of that. Check it out. What is it? MochaOnly.ca. That's one. That's yeah. the website. Uh, they can get a hold of me uh, on Twitter, okay. which is, uh, what's my name at Twitter? It's Mocha underscore only on Twitter. Um, I have a Facebook page. It's Mocha the Real Only at Facebook. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Nice. And, and um, oh, thank you for coming, though, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was good to see you, man. Yeah, it was good. We to wish you some big good things, and we're coming up next with uh, Miss Jacqueline A. Smith. Thank you, man. Pa pow. Hey, what's happening? We back. Get ready to sit down with, we have an alias. <laughs> it's Miss Jacqueline A. Smith, not Miss Jacqueline Smith. No, how you doing? Charlie's angel. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. But you are an angel. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> I have to laugh because we know that you get mistaken All for the, the uh, Charlie's <laughs> yeah. angels, Jacqueline Smith. Yep. I mean, 
What's that about? Oh, what's that about? <laughs> well, I was named after her, so oh, thanks, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but that's okay. It's cool. She was a dancer, too, and I was a dancer, there you so go. I kind of like that. And, uh, oh, she's awesome. Um, but, yeah, no, now I'm kind of going by Jax just to sort of stop the confusion. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's probably a good Easier. thing. Easier. Yeah. Definitely a good thing. So. Now, did you know you were going to be, uh, I mean, did you know you were a talented kid from when you were little? No, I think I just had interests, and yeah. uh, my mom really wanted uh, both my brother and I to have a lot of extracurriculars. She wanted us to have that outside of school, so she mm -hmm. pushed us at an early age to go and try different things. And I was actually into dance from the get-go right. and loved it. And uh, it was more that um, I didn't really get serious about it until I was about 12. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I didn't really think. I think, like a lot of artists... I'm always doubt, doubting whether I'm truly talented or not. Right. I'm just kind of, just keep going. <laughs> now, was there somebody, somebody that you can think, I mean, think of right now that believed in you and, and pushed you to, to where you are right now? There's, def there's several mm -hmm. uh, teachers and stuff, but the biggest cheerleader I've ever had is my mother. Yeah. Yeah. My mom is really big on... Uh, molding your life to what you want it to be, to be happy, to define success for yourself. Right. She was always saying that to us. And so for her, it was like, if this makes you happy, go make it happen. So there you go. And she helped me. She nice. definitely did. Now, as an actress or an actor, I mean, how do you keep yourself sharp? Uh, yeah, well, um, a lot of what I spend my time doing now is more behind the camera. Mm -hmm. um, and there's definitely stuff from that that helps with being in front of the camera. Right. I get a lot uh, sort of what's going on with the crew and that kind of thing and realizing that it's really in a way not about you as an actor which is helpful to mm -hmm. know. Um, so I spend time on my own sets which helps make me more comfortable as an actor and then, right. I, and then I also have a coach and I, or a few coaches and I definitely try to see them and keep up with them and push myself with them with new material and things that take me out of my comfort zone in between auditioning so that right. so that it's not so it doesn't throw me when auditions come mm -hmm. and you're writing your own stuff too right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and so we know that we're gonna we're gonna see something from you today and you've written all that I co-wrote that co -wrote yeah that. Um, but yeah I definitely have been writing um, and I have a few different things that are at different stages of development right now okay um, and then I do a lot of these one-offs for clients, like um, uh, the charity stuff I did and, and ads and music videos coming up with the creative for music videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Basically, just I love uh, coming up with something new and different and interesting. And if it's writing, great. If it's painting, great. If it's choreo, great. And okay. see it through. <laughs> now, I want you to set up the clip for us that we're going to see today. And we know it's, it's glow. It's glow. So mm -hmm. set that up for us. Okay, so uh, Glow is a short film, and it's about um, two uh, lovers in their final days together, and uh, Tessa, the lead, she has a very strange addiction to uh, battery acid. That's what's <laughs> killing her. Not a comedy, but that is kind of funny. <laughs> and uh, anyway, there's a twist to it in the end. It's a very stylized film, so okay. that's Glow. Well, let's, let's check out this clip. <laughs> I'm not proud of my story, but it's too late for pride anyway. Or love. Or us. I just want to tell you before I forget everything. <gasps> you won't believe it either. Glow. That's a crazy clip. I know. And, <laughs> I mean, what, what do you, when you see yourself, I mean, how does that make you feel? Uh, when I see myself on camera, yeah. it's odd. I don't, I feel like um, this whole time I've been watching this other girl, <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, that I'm able to kind of critique and stuff, and I definitely do a separation so that it's not so personal but right. uh it's weird it's weird it's never what i think i sound like or yeah. think i look like or yeah and so. you, you, 
how hard do you critique yourself when you see it? Pretty hard, yeah. But, you're you're uh, your worst enemy. Oh, absolutely, hands down. Yeah. But I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> now, now you, you wear a lot of hats, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, what happens when you, when you take all the hats off? I mean, what would you be if you didn't have all those hats? If I didn't have all those things I was doing? Yeah. If I had to have a normal job? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'd probably want to be a teacher. Okay. Yeah, and work with kids. I think I'd love that. Yeah, be with kids all day. And I guess that's still doing some creative stuff. But right. I'd love to do that. And, and charity work in there as well. Okay. So. Now, I think you've done some... I mean, tell us a little bit about the charity stuff that you've done. Yeah, um, I've done uh, uh, several videos for World Wildlife, okay. um, and they've uh, done well for them online. Uh, and then I did um, a spot for First Star, which is a children's charity in the States. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, fight for the rights of abused and neglected children and, and help them with in the system of foster care and all that. Right. So I did uh, an ad for them, basically, a PSA, but more creative than that. And okay. it's um, it's on CBS right now, which was really exciting for nice. me. And Yeah. So those are sort of the main ones I've done work for. Okay. So now, where do you get the passion to do the environmental stuff that you do? Um... I think the stuff with climate change just terrifies me. <laughs> and, you know, I was brought up that if something's bothering you, you go and do something about right. it. So um, nothing feels better to me than taking the talents that I have and my talented friends and putting it together towards a cause. It's like the most satisfying thing. So it's a bit selfish, I yeah. guess. I just, I love that. It but feels so good to okay, do though. it. That's okay. It, yeah. that, that's good. Yeah. Now, some sacrifices and obstacles that you had to, you know, you had to make to get to where you are. Um, it's funny that word sacrifice. I don't, I don't know that I feel like I've sacrificed. I've prioritized for sure. I've okay. definitely always, when faced with this, with a decision in my life, I've definitely kind of veered towards what would support my career more mm -hmm. uh, more often than not. And I guess there are things that have been left behind along the way, but I don't feel it because I'm, I'm happy doing that. Right. Obstacles for sure. And one of the things that I will say um, in terms of acting definitely uh, is that I, I used to wish that bigger like actresses would, and actors would say this, how hard it is to get your first agent, how hard it is to get in the door. Mm -hmm. There are definitely catch-22s with it. You know, To get work, you need your agent. To get an agent, you need to have work. Yes. So there you have to be creative and uh, find you know, innovative ways of getting their attention and getting in. And so those are certain obstacles I've definitely had to kind of go around. It's just getting in the door with the right, right. people. And then it makes all the difference. Okay. Now, being on the grind, lots of people doing the same stuff you're doing, mm -hmm. all the hats mm -hmm. and going to auditions, not getting no love from anybody, mm -hmm. right? We want to know what can you tell all those people who are doing the same thing, what you can tell them to inspire them to stay on the grind? I think that um, in the time I've been in the industry, I've definitely seen that... Uh, it's those of us who keep swimming, who keep going, that, you know, it will happen, right. opportunities will come. Um, it's being persistent, and, and if it feels right, staying with it. Mm -hmm. And in that time when it's hard, you know, don't focus outwards, focus inwards. Take care of yourself, whatever you need to build yourself up to be confident, because there's a lot to tear you down. So you have to stay true to yourself. Right. Just surround yourself by the right people, because I believe we succeed in groups. And do your own stuff, do your own work, whatever it is, something creative, because it'll give you a sense of control mm -hmm. and uh, that you're really steering your career in, in, a, in an industry where it can sometimes feel like it's completely out of your control. So right. doing your own work will do that for you as you audition and that type of thing. Nice. Now, longevity or fame? <laughs> longevity. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> I don't want those 15 minutes. Thank you. No. Hey, so those 15 <laughs> minutes, they come by and they go. And they go. And sometimes I, I see that they're damaging for people. So uh, no thank you. Definitely. <laughs> now, how would you like to be remembered after you leave 
the acting world or the, say, production side of everything? As someone who was uh, good to the people she worked with, believed in others, supported them, and was honest, I want to be known as being really an honest and brave artist. Nice. I'd like to be known that way. What's next for you? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I've got some of the things, the bigger projects that are in development for film and stuff, okay. and uh, my ongoing one-offs, I call them, for clients. And then um, Nick, who did who directed Glow, he's asked me to come back in the summer to shoot some scenes from his feature to be his lead again, so cool. that's really nice. And then with music, I'm working on two albums right now. There you so go. There, I did it. Hey. I got it all in. <laughs> nice. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Miss Jacqueline A. Smith. <laughs> we want to thank my man Mocha Only for coming through. I want to make sure we get out all our sponsors, Aerocar for driving me everywhere, ProVision. Get at me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. And I think you have Facebook and MySpace and all that other stuff. We're going to show it up. Okay, awesome. It's your man Valentine, baby. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the grind with your man Valentine. We out. Jacqueline A. Smith. Thank you so much. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>